friends, this is um, Tanuta from veganlovely.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how I make a fat-free chocolate sauce, which I like um, to have over fruits as a quick and easy dessert. You can have this sauce over pancakes or ice cream. You will see it's very easy to make and I'm using ingredients that are you probably already have in your kitchen and one other ingredient that I like to use with my fruit dessert is basil seeds basil seeds if you've not previously used them they are actually very good for digestion and they regulate your blood sugar level so it's a very nice addition to desserts or drinks in Mauritius they are very popular we have them most of the time in drinks so let's get started so the basil seeds that I mentioned before they are also known as tukmaria and they are like small black seeds that are very similar to chia seeds and you can pretty much use them the same way So about a tablespoon that should be enough and I'm just going to add a little bit of water just about this much and just leave that to soak for a bit. I am using homemade oat milk. If you don't know how to make oat milk at home you can watch my other video. I will put the link in the um, description. But the reason why I like to use homemade is because when you heat homemade oat milk, it tends to thicken by itself. So you get this nice um, creamy consistency that is very nice, very good for the sauce that we are going to make. Start by adding about 300 milliliters of uh, homemade oat milk to a pan. And I'm just going to set the heat to quite low here. So I'm just using cocoa powder, a tablespoon or less, about that much. Just a little bit of um, coffee, um, instant coffee, just for a little bit of uh, depth, just a um, pinch. Next I'm going to add um, a little bit of um, cinnamon. And that's just a tiny little, tiny pinch. So now um, we can increase the heat a little bit and keep stirring. And I am also going to add a tablespoon or so of maple syrup. If you don't want maple syrup, you can add sugar or if you want sugar free, you can add stevia. I've increased the heat a little bit just to speed up the, the process. So you will see now that as it thickens, you have to really keep stirring more and faster. As it cools, it will tend to thicken slightly more. So. I think now that should be okay. That's pretty much the consistency that I like. So I will now turn off the heat and put this aside. I am using bananas today and as I said, you can use just any fruits that you like, like um, strawberries or cherries, anything that you would like to have with this chocolate sauce. So I'm just gonna cut. So this is our um, Tukmaria seed that has been soaking. I'm just going to add a little bit of water in there just to loosen it a little bit. 
So I just like to um, put a little bit on top. This just adds a bit of texture to this dessert. So you can have as much as you want. And you can keep the rest and add it to your drinks or anything else that you want to have. So then we are going to pour the chocolate sauce and this is still quite warm so it's actually a very nice dessert to have when it's a little bit chilly outside and at the moment it's fall season so this is actually perfect. Save this sauce if there's if you made too much. It keeps in the fridge and you can just reheat it the next day. You can add a little bit of milk if you want to reheat it. You can choose any topping, but like you can have um, nuts. But I am using um, toasted coconut flakes because I am actually allergic to nuts, so I tend to have this more often when you'd need um, some crunchy crunchiness in a recipe. That was the banana with a chocolate sauce um, dessert and it's really easy, very quick to make. Mm. That is really really nice. The texture, the crunchiness of the coconut, a little bit. I'm gonna have a little bit more.